In assignment 4b, there's a question that asks you to use either a graphing tool or a spreadsheet to determine for what values of a does the function e to the minus x squared plus ax squared have no inflection points. You may have a slightly different value of b, but I'm just using the simplest case here to demonstrate. So what I'm going to show you here is how to use Desmos to determine the values of a that you are looking for in this problem. So what you see here on the side is the formula for the function, and that's shown in blue. And you also see Desmos's handy derivative tool taking two derivatives of that function, and that's, plant, uh, that's plotted in green. Since we know that inflection points correspond to points at which the second derivative is zero and crosses from positive to negative or negative to positive, we can slide the value of a up and down and see what happens to the inflection point. So if we go far up enough with a, the second derivative never has a zero. And so we're certain to be in the range of a values um, let's say by the time we get up to 1.2. But how far down can we go? It looks like one may be the first moment at which there is a zero for f double prime. And then we can go further down in a, and you can see here that there's another point here at a equals somewhere around 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5 and minus 0.4, where we again lose all of the inflection points. Of the function. So what we need to do is get a little bit closer. So clearly the a values that we need are around 1 and 0.5. So I'm going to zoom in on one of those and I'm going to change the interval of a values that I use to 0.9 all the way up to 1.1 and I'm going to make a step size of 0.01 and that will allow me to refine a little bit the interval through which I'm moving. And so you can see here that around 1 and 0.99 and 1.01, .01, we are, so, seems like we are close to losing our two inflection points. So if you continue to refining the value, the interval of A, and zooming in on the graph, you should be able to refine the value of A at which these disappear more and more. But it looks like 1 is a likely candidate. Then we can go to minus 0 0.6 and zero, minus 0 0.4 and see what happens with the other inflection point. So here we're going to have to shift over and zoom in on this guy. And now we can see that we lose this one somewhere around 0 0.46, 0 0.45. And so we can refine our interval again based on that to determine with more and more precision what value of a we lose the inflection points for low values of a. And that is how you can use Desmos to answer this question.